Hey special family, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Autism Mom and on this channel we talk about everything autism and in between. Today we're doing another fair use reaction video, so let's take a look at the video. About ABA treatment. ABA is the one that's documented, but I think that's what I think is important with little kids, the intensity. If this kid's two, three, and four years old, he needs 20 or 30 hours a week of intensive early intervention, working one-to-one -one with an effective teacher. Mm -hmm. And an effective teacher knows kind of how just hard to push, because you've got to stretch these kids. Mm -hmm. If you don't stretch them somewhere, they don't advance. Mm -hmm. You push them on them too hard, they go into sensory shutdown. The worst thing you could do with an autistic two-year-old is to do nothing with them and just let them sit there rocking. And when I was very young, at two and a half, ABA-type things were used on me but it wasn't called ABA in that day. Right. You know, my teacher would hold up a cup and she'd speak slowly. You've got to speak slowly to these kids because there's auditory processing problems. You'd say cup, and then I'd say cup, and, and the teacher would praise me. You know, that's very similar to ABA. You know, ABA in its, um, you know, original form is a little kid's program. The whole idea is you're trying to get language jump-started. And I like the more flexible kinds of ABA. You've got different levels of kids. Mm -hmm. um, once, I mean, I had ABA type stuff when I was young, but mm -hmm. then after I pulled out of it, I didn't have to go through elaborate things of getting ready for school. I still have this habit now today. I lay my clothes out the night before that I'm going to wear, mm -hmm. so when I'm sleepy, I can just get them on. And then you have other individuals where they've got to do very structured, you know, uh, you know, breaking down the task analysis. This is where after you get out of the little kids and you get them talking, they kind of diverge into yeah. different levels of functioning. And a type of ABA program that would be suitable for a very severe kid would not be something you'd want to do with a mild Asperger kid because you're going to bore them to death and make them hate school. Absolutely. So as you guys know, I did videos before on ABA. And there, on TikTok, people with autism do not like ABA. Personally, I love ABA. ABA has saved me and taught me so much. Thanks to ABA, my son can brush his own teeth. Thanks to ABA, he understands putting stuff in the garbage, turning off the lights, he understand putting on his shoes. He understand left from right shoe. He can do most of the stuff I was trying to teach him but didn't have the right tools or didn't know how to teach them, teach him. But ABA came in and showed me how, helped me how. He gets ABA in school and at home. I make sure it's under my roof. I pay attention closely and I have nothing bad to say about ABA. When ABA first started, um, I did some research and it was a little abusive. According to the research I did, it was a little bu abusive. But it has since then changed and my son has only good benefits from it. I don't want to take away from anybody's experience with ABA. All I'm saying, my son has had a good experience with ABA. He has gained so much from ABA. His independence is out the roof from ABA. And I couldn't do it on my own. If it wasn't for them, I don't think he would be where he is today. Because I didn't have the tools. I didn't have the know-how. I didn't know front from back. I was just trying what I was trying and it wasn't working. That's all I know. And ABA come in, came in, he can communicate with his device, tell me what he wants. He started with pictures, now he's on the verbal end with a device, communication device. He can brush his teeth, he can sit on the toilet, he might not be fully potty trained, but if you take him to pee, he'll pee. He can open his own crackers, he can put a straw through his juice box, he can move the plastic wrapper from a straw. That is all ABA. He knows where the garbage can is. He knows how to turn on and off lights. He knows the routine when you come home. Take your shoes off. Put it on the shoe rack. Take your coat and bag off. Put it in the closet. That's ABA. That ain't me. So, let's go to the comment section and see what they're talking about. Because I'm not trying to take away from anybody's experience with ABA. It might not be for everybody. But I'm telling you my experience. And it has been good to me. First commenter says... I work in ABA and yes to all of this, 100% agree with Temple Grandin. That's the lady that's doing the interview. 
People fail to realize the worst thing you can do when you find out that your child has autism is do nothing. Start somewhere. Therapy as soon as possible. Because trust me, it goes a long way. Next commenter says, ABA can be absolutely amazing, but it has to be done right at the child's level and not used as bribes. Next commenter says, ABA done ethically, client-centered, evidence-based, and in dignified manner can be life-changing, but all four components need to be in place. Next commenter says, I'm a behavior analyst, and it fills me with joy to hear Temple discuss her positive experience with ABA. Yet, many, many autistic people hate ABA because it is traumatizing. Someone replied, many ABA therapists push too much because they want faster results for the parents and it can be very harmful. I haven't experienced that. And some people say, oh, your child is not allowed to stim during ABA. Yes, he stims. And yes, he gets bribes too. So I'm not going to act like that. Yes, he gets bribes too. Next commenter says, unfortunately, this is an offer everywhere. I tried ABA. They wanted us to drive an hour away five days a week. I work full time as a single parent. Someone replied, we decided a two days a week with our local hospital doing RDI therapy instead. A relationship based therapy and he's doing wonderful. Someone else replied, you can also do it yourself. Small town person here, I learned on YouTube. So you see somebody drop the breadcrumb. If you don't have ABA in your town, Google it on you, search it on YouTube or Google. Next commenter says, that's what our in-home therapy does. They teach me how to do this therapy. We just got his Go Talk Now device. Yep. Next commenter says, ABA in the right environment and with the right therapist is such a good tool. Our son had great success with it and I was 100% involved. Me too. Someone else responded, Temple Granding is a legend. So happy to have her inside. If you would like to follow this creator, this is their TikTok page and handle. Go give them a follow. Let me know what you think of Temple Grandin's response towards ABA in the comment section below and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.